all started back in 2012 when I moved up here, well, came to visit. <laughs> came to visit with my little one, coming to visit my dad and my stepmother. Um, my dad was so convincing, trying to get me to come up here, away from the big city of Philadelphia where I was born and raised. Um, so eventually I ended up coming, did everything I was supposed to do as far as finding a job, you know, putting my baby in school and, you know, everything was, you know, good until, you know, of course I fell behind on, you know, paying rent even after me working two jobs. It was just a lot. I didn't have anywhere to go, so I stayed with a friend, but I ended up going to the rescue mission. Coming from one big city to a small town, away from family, it was the family away from home that I needed. They were like a coach, a life coach for me, meaning they, not I'm not saying they were on top of me, but they helped me. Like when I needed the help, they helped me. They, they pointed me in the direction that I needed to go. Making sure I had somewhere to lay my head at night, making sure my girls were fine, making sure everything that we, we needed was there. All I can say is to this day, from that moment, we have definitely been comfortable in our own space, own skin, own place. So it's just been very grateful, very grateful. <laughs> my oldest is in school. I'm getting my little one prepared for the toddler life. Um, there are so many things that I want to finish, more so like uh, finishing out my degree in psychology. I'm like this close. I have over 80 credits and I'm like, I need to finish. So um, that's my next step, next goal is to get in enrolled in school. I'm not sure where, whoever has the best program, that's where I'm at. But I do plan on you know, going back to school sometime this summer, hopefully fall, to complete my degree. So I can do what I gotta do for my girls because they deserve the best. My definition of hope is just keeping up that motivation. <laughs> Sometimes it can be hard because we, we get a lot of, we get very doubtful, especially I'm that type of person that be in my, my head a lot. So I try to come up with different ways, different strategies, strategies to do different things. But I try to keep myself positive, you know, hopeful, you know, keep the faith, like my dad always say and just to let things work itself out instead of trying to push it to where it gets worse. <laughs> so I'm just keeping myself hopeful and, and knowing that, you know, my faith in God, he'll definitely have my back and he has. I have been, I've been through a lot the last couple years, but I'm keeping my hope. I'm keeping my hopefulness <laughs> instead of the doubt. To the people that um, helped support it, the rescue mission, I want to first thank you so much because not everybody are willing to give, but you guys did. And thank you because I didn't have anything. I didn't come up here with anything. I moved into this apartment with nothing, no beds, no couches, nothing, no frontage, nothing, nothing. So it was like a big help getting the things that I needed to keep me me and my girls comfortable in our new apartment. It's coming together just the way I hoped and planned for it to be. So I appreciate it a lot.